Episode 29. We're live? We're live. <laughs> <laughs> it's 29, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You know, I was trying to think about, wait, am I on? Oh, I'm here. Are Can you hear live? me? <laughs> Are we live and on air? Oh my God. Live with Regis and Kelly. Sorry. I was thinking about 29 on my way over here. And 29 is like really when I got my life together. It's like yeah. when I became who I am today. Yeah. I would say 29 is a great. I mean, I thought like 27 on was great years. 29 also great years. 29. Pfft, 29 was 10 out of 10. I, but I think that was also like that was the year before 2020. So it was 2019. Hmm, I'm year. trying to math again. Last we year. We need to math before we get to the podcast. I know, I know. But the reason why I think that is because... Because we could go 10 minutes right now trying to calculate. Oh, 30. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, uh, does my mic sound weird? Like, can I hear myself? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can Okay, maybe you. maybe I'm just not as loud to myself as I normally am. <laughs> you're here and you're loud. I'm here, I'm loud, and I'm loud. Uh, you guys. Sarah. Alina. Got engaged, got married, and is pregnant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say something else for you. It was in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It was like a two-for-one hit. It was a two-for-one show. It was buy one, get one free. I know. Um, what else? What else can I say for a two for one? I mean, you can tell us about about it. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm starting here. Because, yes, because... I knew I was getting married. <laughs> you were you know. what? <laughs> <laughs> that was a planned event. Your engagement was I an know. unplanned event. So was the pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was too good of a joke. I it was too good of a joke. I had to say it. Yeah. I had to say it, but I also oh, have to oh, remember that the it. internet is forever. <laughs> like, who knows if Sprinkle will see this one day. Alex's face. Sprinkle? I call the baby Sprinkle. Oh, okay. I Did thought I that was Is that it. the size of it right now? No, that like was the original size. It's obviously, I think it's um, a guinea pig at this point. It's a gerbil. It's a gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gerbil. Um, but like I was. All like, of these things are unplanned that you say. Yeah. Like it's not scripted. Oh, yeah, I have no script. All I have her no jokes. Piece, <laughs> no piece of paper. <laughs> um, uh, where are we? <laughs> So Sprinkle isn't a true baby name? or No, Sprinkle's no. not the true baby name. Okay. Sprinkle's just what we call the baby. If you're a true just fan, my... you'll know oh. the baby name. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because she mentioned it on another episode. I did. I did. That was that, pre-Sprinkle. Okay. That was like a, like, that's all we'll say. That was two weeks before Sprinkle was like invented. I know. <laughs> Crazy. So. I know. Okay. What about, what, You're with what? child. I'm with child. The child's with me. I carry and the child around. we kept this secret. Oh, my word. So long. And it wasn't like really a secret. I just, I was, I. It was just, it's a weird thing to announce. It's like, so weird. to announce it. And I felt like being engaged was a great way. To yeah. And Corbin it. kind of did it for me because he posted that we were engaged. And uh, like two of my friends uh, texted me. They're like, Sarah, you can fully tell you're pregnant in those photos that he posted and so I was like <laughs> i was like number one rude i thought i <laughs> thought i looked like i had a six he pack in this post do i not follow corbin um i'm disturbed does he post no like he posts like once every year <laughs> yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't have you know seen that he even had an instagram i know um but once they said that i was like now i feel like it, it, I don't want to feel like I was hiding it. Like when I saw somebody in person, I would tell them. Yeah. But it wasn't like I was like, hey. It's weird to pick up your phone and just text people. It's it's weird. Like I, I also like the in-person reaction of it. Like I like to kind of shock somebody yeah. and see what their facial expression does. It's not as fun over the phone. Yeah. Because you don't you're not you're not really interacting but anyways so he had posted it so I was like I guess I should probably say something. Yeah. Um, and so I just was like I'm engaged and also by the way I'm five months pregnant <laughs> <laughs> here's a little extra tidbit it was, it was so exciting like it's okay so I okay. want to know because yeah oh we yeah. all know every day is, yeah is the day oh my god okay that's true okay so every day is the day yeah yeah, yeah. and somehow you that. didn't know it was that day I didn't know it was that day 
Okay. The explanation there is once Sprinkle was... How long have you and Corbin been together? Like six years? Oh my God. You think we've been together six years? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say like three and a half. Three and a half? Three and a half. That's it? Yeah. Crazy. Oh, maybe, my, like uh, maybe almost four. Okay, you better get your dates right. <laughs> No, not almost four, three and a half. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna round up here because I usually round in whatever direction I feel like better represents what I want to say. Yeah. So we've been together ten years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rounding to ten. Um, what was it like? Literally, I cannot. Can, like, I told Sarah, you I was gonna Sarah get tongue tied. She's gonna be tongue tied, and I said we're gonna have so much to talk about, and she goes, I don't think I'll be able to say much. I because because it's like so okay. <laughs> This is how I would describe it. You know that movie? I have never seen this movie, but the movie title was like uh, Everything All at Once. It was like recently came out. Everyone loved it all at the same time. Do you know what I'm talking about? Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yes. That's what I feel like emotionally 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Like I feel everything all the time, all at once. I've never seen that movie. Don't even know what that title is in reference to, but like that's how my emotions feel all the time. Parallel universes. and (laughs) Oh, wow. (laughs) So it's not about people feeling all their emotions all at once. So it's hard to kind of like track what is happening with me mentally. But so what was the question where we went the beginning? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. I know where we are. I was the type of person that every day was the day. Okay. So here we are. Here's that story. Once um, I decided to carry Sprinkle around with me, that kind of like fell off my radar in the sense that I was like snagged you forever like (laughs) don't have to worry about this anymore (laughs) so like I I I kind of like put that separate from my mind and also like I said this to Corbin but like um no one told me that pregnancy was difficult I don't know like if anyone else didn't know this but like I was told like you can tell people the honest truth because I I feel like I hear it's beautiful and you love yourself and like you just feel amazing and like that has not been the case for you that has not been the case for me Mm, um um and that's why I was like I want to like try to like measure my words because like everyone experiences something different but like I was under the impression that like you were pregnant but you were just still, ex- everything was exactly the same. You were just pregnant. Yeah. And then the hard part was giving birth. And and everyone like, that is like the, the pinnacle of it. So all of my attention was like, okay, I'm just going to be me. And then I'm going to have a baby. Yeah. And that really hasn't been what it's been like at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it was very, I mean, at this point, I don't feel as sick Mm -hmm. 24 hours a day um but I still I think the hardest part for me is like I me really feel like 75 percent of my personality is like how I eat like Mm. that's like a big part of who I am yeah and I eat my favorite foods 24 hours a day seven days a week yeah and I haven't been able to eat anything that I like yeah for 22 weeks so you've lost a part of your personality right and like I like get I was like angry about it. Like I'm, I was yeah, angry. You won't even like hang out with anyone because you're like, I can't, I can't eat. go. I can't eat. Like, so I tried to hang out with you and you were like, no, I'm like, I can't go to dinner. Like I'm going to waste $500, $500. Jesus Christ. What am I rich? <laughs> no, I'm going to waste like $50 sitting there eating. Like I can't, I couldn't eat. Like now I can kind of get stuff down, but I'm not enjoying any food. And I just feel like, because like I, resonate joy and food together like having that peace taken away was like such a long process to just kind of be like I guess it is what it is and now I'm at the point where like it is what it is I guess I just don't like food right now yeah and do you think that it will it will pass well I kept asking everyone like hey was anyone else was fucking miserable no I'm just kidding um was anyone else having a lot of food problems and I have heard that like people have said that like up into a certain week, like, oh, at 14 weeks, you're going to be able to eat again. So I literally had like a motherfucking countdown, counting the days till 14 weeks. 14 weeks came and passed, and here I am. (laughs) I haven't had a chips and salsa in 22 weeks. I'm fucking starving. Um, I miss hot sauce. Like, there's just a lot of things that I miss, but I think like it's just kind of like, you know, you just take it, like I have to just take it with a grain of salt. Like you're just kind of like, I guess this is what it is. Yeah. 
and like you can do to change it there's nothing you could do to change it and it's like i i want to be pregnant so that this is the experience that it is Mm -hmm. you know so it's just kind of like you get to i think it's like you get to a point where you're like i guess i'm eating waffles every day until february (laughs) Sounds amazing. I've had over a thousand waffles. Are we talking egos or? Um, I get the ones at Trader Joe's. They're delicious. Um, but like, yeah, it's just like if I ever see a waffle again after this, it's dead to me. Yeah. Or like smooth. Like I like salads. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm pregnant. I want a burrito. I want pizza. <laughs> I don't want to eat a fucking salad. And a salads are the only thing I like. I hate salads. Ugh. Yeah, that's I want that's to very eat off-brand pizza. For you. Like, I want pizza. I want pizza. Pizza fucking tastes like dirty garbage sewer trash. Can't even smell pizza. Can't even look at Mexican food. Disgusting. So like your taste buds have like completely like... Sh- they're not even mine. They're not yours. That's crazy. I know. And you feel frustration because no one told you this. Well, yeah. I feel like, what the fuck? <laughs> Number one. This is two weeks of Sarah not having a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I have been talking way too much, you guys. Um... No, I, yeah, like, that's what I kept telling Corbin. Like, no one fucking told me. No one told me. And then my mom's like, people always say, oh, if your mom was sick, you know, you'll be sick. So I'm like, mom, like, were you sick? Like uh, up until my first few weeks. Yeah. And she's like, oh no, I just had toothpaste aversion. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get through that. You know, <laughs> please. I would love toothpaste. Aversion. I mean, add that to the list. I had that as well. You know? Yeah. I, every time I brush my teeth, I threw up. Brush my teeth again, threw up. Can't even, can't even do toothpaste. It's horrible. That's lovely, you guys. But it's also It's lovely. a beautiful thing, but it's also <laughs> not what you expected. It's it's just like I guess what I expected was to feel the same. Mm-hmm. And I just don't feel the same. Yeah. And there's just like so many like emotions constantly tied to that. And you're just like, who am I now? Like who am I now? Like I, again, like I so identify with like what I eat. So like that's taken away from me. So like who am I without burritos which is a weird thing to say yeah. or like who am i without hot sauce like i have over 150 hot sauces in my cabinet i can't even motherfucking try cholula <laughs> because it's so fucking hot i tried a pepperoncini the other day i was like <sighs> like dying of heat what does the doctor say about this that like, your taste buds change that, when you're pregnant well typically it's because i have like like jajillion more hormones in my body like my breath tastes like absolute trash all day, every day. Interesting. Disgusting. I can't Maybe even taste garlic? my own tongue. It's not the garlic, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but they say it's because of the hormones. And I'm like, okay, great. And but people also say, which which makes me feel better. Oh, if you're really sick, that's really good. So I'm like, okay, so I'm doing something right. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Maybe they're just saying it to make me feel better. Huh? I know. So today, today was the day on the engagement day. I want to hear. I want to hear about. Oh. The- did i talk about that (laughs) no (laughs) you guys this is also something i can't think speak or act anymore well i couldn't act at the beginning but that still remains true um the engagement so so yeah the the what like through again once i had sprinkle like engagement kind of left me of like thinking about that every day just because obviously i was sick and tired and like oh my god i'm a child like i was like oh my god i'm 16 and pregnant you know like immediately i was like call mtv <laughs> like someone <laughs> called 911 a 16 year old is having a baby <laughs> and then i was like oh my god you're an adult calm down but again i still feel 16 and pregnant so i should call somebody about that um so the engagement <laughs> Once I had sprinkle that that like the every day is the day kind of left my mind, which I'm really kind of happy it did because I love being surprised. I love being surprised. I had no idea this was coming. And I, I told Alina right before we started, like Corbin did very well throw me off the scent because uh, like maybe two weeks ago when he already had the ring, he said to me, um, Sarah, I just want to make sure like you don't want to have like any involvement in like what what the ring would want to look like or like any ideas or like what you like or what you don't like and I was like nope don't tell me anything and in my head when he said that I was like oh okay so like potentially maybe Christmas or like maybe we'll get engaged like right after the baby comes or you know have a couple like all of those things were kind of in my head and I I was happy and fine with that because I think a a lot of things in my mind were like I don't want to be engaged because I'm pregnant like I don't want to be married because yeah exactly Exactly. let's see if the baby comes out I'm like oh good job Corbin I like your DNA and then we get married (laughs) 
<laughs> um, so all of these things were like outside of my, my mind. And then he said that two weeks ago. So I was like, oh, definitely not this trip that we're going on. So again, the whole trip, I was not thinking about it. And they really fucking snaked me on the golf course because um, his brother and sister-in-law were like, oh, get us, like, will you take a picture of us right by this, like, really pretty 16th hole? And I was like, yeah, of course, like, I'll get a picture of you guys. So I took a picture of them, and then Arianne's like, well, do you guys want one? And I was like, oh, fuck, sure, I hate photos, but like, yeah, grab me a photo. <laughs> and so when I was, like, uh, like, you know, hugging, taking a photo, he what was so crazy, too, was he was, like, sweating so much, and I was like, I guess we're in Hawaii, but man, this motherfucker is <laughs> dripping. <laughs> And he took out like this yellow ball and I was like, oh, I guess you want to take things out of your pocket so it doesn't look weird in the photo. And it was the, so it was the wrong ball. Like he had the ring in a golf ball. Um, and then he was like, he pulled out the yellow one and I think he, re- like he hands it to me and then he realized like, that's not the golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then he put his hand and I was like, and he handed to me the fake golf ball that's like a ring box. And I was like, this golf ball looks so weird. And during that process of me holding the golf ball. The fake golf ball engagement His ring? brother found it on Etsy. His brother found it on Etsy. Oh, so it was really oh, cute. So smart. I know. And during that time, that's when he went down and I was like, oh, my, like shook, 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 shook. Did not see it coming. Like, uh, uh, I, I think I blacked out. I'm 100% sure I blacked out. There's no way, like I was, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock because again, I had planned to know that this was going to happen or th- not planned to know, but I assumed like anything he did, I would assume it was the engagement. Mm-hmm. I'm just, um, uh, can you imagine him accidentally golfing oh, the wrong wouldn't. ball? <laughs> like, uh, that's probably why he was sweating Ooh. because he was like, do I have the ring? Well, he was thinking about I it golf all, it. We like played it 16 putt? holes, putt. That's a, yeah. yeah. So, did I putt it yeah. on accident? I know. I know. So also he was, like, like just dying. he packed it as a golf ball. I don't, I think he had, he had a ring box too. So, okay. but I was like, how did you like get that through security or like check it without me knowing? Yeah. That's- like, I, I, were you worried to travel with it? Like, were you, all the things like leading up, like the morning of, I'm like, he knew that morning he was, oh my God, it's been exactly a week. It was a week today. What yeah. day is it? Wednesday. Oh my God. At this point last week, I didn't know I was about to be engaged. I know. I've talked also, way guys, too much. We know this episode is a day late because I was getting back from a plane so she was flying in the flying. sky so i just keep picturing him golfing putting i know the ring i know i, I don't terrifying. know if it was like in his pocket the whole day i think it was probably in his bag somewhere well like what if someone was like oh it looks like a perfectly good golf ball i know Grab that like, i know could, when he sat down it could have fallen out someone i know could picked it up I and know. punted it forever that's why he was punted. literally sweating like he was in the shower yeah and it made so, and he was so, oh yeah, it was just so cute. And um, yeah, I loved every second say, of it. Do you remember what he said? <sighs> I wish I did. I, I, they, I only remember say, the ending part of it. They say it's like, like there's so much adrenaline. And no, like he's, he was so like, much. my head is killing me. Like he's like, I'm dying. He couldn't even get the ring on because he was like shaking so much. And I was like, I was like, did you think I was going to say no? I'm holding your child. <laughs> <laughs> well, Noel doesn't get nervous like ever, but he was so nervous when he proposed. Yeah. And, I, I mean, think it's just something that comes over them. If I think about it, if I had to propose to Corbin, even though I know he would say if I had to, like, <laughs> I know he would say yes, but I would still be really nervous oh, yeah. about like what to say or where to do it. Like, I think I would still have that kind of yeah. like reaction, not because he would say no, but because it's such a big, exciting moment. And yeah. Did you cry? <sighs> I didn't cry. I was like saying, oh my God. I think 700 times like I was just shocked like I I couldn't believe it I was like I was just like blacked out of like excitement and shock and like just I couldn't believe it I was like I can't believe this is happening I can't believe it the camera your ring I was gonna stand up and show my belly (laughs) (laughs) the camera the camera I think stiller is better yeah so when you shake their hand like that they can't really see it (laughs) hello I'm miss (laughs) Sarah. Still wiggling. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We'll have to put, can we, can we put a photo of you, of your reaction? Oh, yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Your, that, fa- that face. your face is, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. You're obviously shocked. It's awesome. I know. I know. Yeah. Those were the, those were the photos that my friends were like, Sarah, by the way, you can kind of tell you're pregnant. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. No. Alex. I, 
I, I, I can tell in the photos that's either. What I look like yeah, if I eat some pasta. <laughs> yeah, only you guys. only only in the one where you were like showing your belly yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it obvious. That one was obvious, but the the golf course ones, no way. Mm. And you had done a good job of hiding it so far, so I don't think anybody would have been like clued in on it. Yeah, on like social oh. media, on like social media or anything. Oh, like that, I but. I well, like maybe because I knew I was like, oh, it looks obvious, but. I felt weird not to say something after that, yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah, you'd handled it well. Yeah. <sighs> what an amazing moment. How long have I talked for? I mean, uh, we should switch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you said a lot, but you also didn't say much at all. I know, that's that's <laughs> just like the movie. Everything all at once, <laughs> nothing at all. That's how it's happening. Well, hopefully in the next few weeks, you'll you'll start to like, you know, give out some more juicy well, details. It's, it's more just like like articulating how I feel changes all the time. Like, yeah, I think like something that's been in my head constantly is like, now, na- like I'm, I'm never by myself now. Right. So like, that's a crazy thought to me. Like I'm always now a mom, like mm-hmm. I'm never not just me. And that's like something that I've been struggling with. Like I'm never by myself. I'm not just alone. Yeah. Like I'm always going to be a mom attached. first. Yeah. yeah. And now it's, it's just like, am I still funny? TBD. I don't know. You're still funny. We'll see. You're we'll see. Funny. I may not be funny anymore. I think you'll be funnier. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it, you almost feel like it's like, who am I? Who am I individually now? Yeah. I don't know. That's really deep. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh. <laughs> I just like, yeah, I just, uh, I feel so many things and I don't want to misspeak in a way that's like, like, um, uh, it's saying something in like a negative light because it's like no, I don't you know. Don't have to. You don't. It's more I like think it's. I think it's important that you don't always have to talk about things like, like their hallmark cards. Like yeah, that's how you feel. I know you look so pretty today, Alina. By the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? What we're getting all emotional. I know. I think it would be a great time to talk about sharks. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Wait. Can I just say also, by the way, I had like so, I shouldn't even say, I don't like to say anxiety. I had so much nerves coming over here because I'm like, fucking Alina has a gift for me. I'm going to kill myself. I, well, I, well, I had things in mind, but I just didn't have enough time to execute. Thank God. Because I had God. just gotten back. Thank you, Jesus. But next week. <laughs> next week, for sure. No. No. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're engaged okay. now. Uh, you're married now. I know. Let me have an apple. Yeah. Sorry, that's also why I have snacks here is because I feel sick all the time. So I need yeah. to eat something. But it's an apple. Yeah. Like, again, Horrible snack. I'm eating salads and apples. Okay. Like, that's so fucking annoying. I want ice cream <laughs> and I want a burrito. Sorry. On to the next. Let's talk about Italy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, Where wait. Begin? Hold on. Can I also say, like, people may think that we're not friends because I wasn't there. But, like, you guys... We're friends, and I was invited. Sarah was invited. I had planned this trip in February of yes. this year. Actually, so when she was like, told me that she was going to Hawaii in advance for the podcast, I was like, "Hey, that's when I'm going to get married. <laughs> Can You're you invited be there." And she was like, "No." I mean, I think it was just unspoken. Like it was a family trip. I knew you can you can come. And now, especially, I'm oh my so happy you didn't come. Sorry, I was chewing away. I mean, I'm not happy. You no, I know, but, but it was, it was such, such a beautiful a, moment yes, for you. Yeah. And I honestly didn't think it was going to happen because I would have thought that maybe would have gotten some sort of like hint from you that like, hey, I think Corbin's going to, you know. I know. So yeah, didn't, th- but yes, Sarah was invited. I actually missed you when we were there because I w- I was it was thinking the whole time, amazing. Like, of course, Alina's go-karting in Italy. Like, of course she is. It's karting. How many times did you <laughs> go-kart? There's no go. It's not Mario Kart. You're kidding me. <laughs> Are you telling me that when people go kart, it's not called go kart? It's called go karting. I don't really. Alex, I don't. What's Mary M say? I. It's not. I mean, go no one kart. says I'm going karting. Yes, that's no. the proper term. It's not. I'm going go karting. You go go karting. No, go 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 go. You go go. Cart racing, cart yeah. racing, or I karting. told you guys. Yeah. Who I do guess you think it, I'm married to? I guess you are the professional, but it's called go karting. Everyone knows it. They're they're <laughs> called Mario Party. Well. They're called go karts apparently, but they're not. You don't say like you go karting. Yeah, yeah, you, you go kart. Go-karting. I'm gonna go go karting. 
Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. You carded around. That was... Okay, so... Yeah. Where to begin, okay? Wait, start from the beginning. <sighs> I just, like, have so many emotions. <gasps> okay. I, I love emotions. I was not thrilled to be coming home. And uh, I've never felt that way before. I'm usually like, oh, I miss home. Like... You did have Ollie with you, too. I had Ollie, and I just felt, like, so much sadness that it was over, like... Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of stress too leading up to it. So I'm happy so that much you stress. felt like like sad to be leaving it. Yes, you know. Yeah. So that's a really like good not, sign. Like some people I've talked to who planned weddings are like, it's not worth it. It's such a scam. Like, I'm so whatever. glad it's over. I'm blah, so glad blah, it's over. Yeah. Like I can like blah blah blah. It's and like ninety percent of people, I, I didn't. Say. I didn't feel that way. Okay. Like I, I permanently wish that I could live in a loop of my wedding day. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. That's magical. Yeah. I want to I want to wake up every day and have, have that it been your wedding day. day. And it wasn't even like I had some moments during the day. You did? Yes. Can you tell us about the moments? Okay. 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 So, I, so I'm going to just do a full. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. So okay. I'll, I'll try not to interrupt, but I, I no. might have comments yes. just to. So <laughs> as some of you know, because you guys have been listening, I appreciate all of the true fans who knew I was actually getting married. So many people were like, what? You got married? I'm like. You're engaged? <laughs> 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 Yes. Where have you been? Um, But I wanted to plan like a really special thing with like our immediate immediate family and our closest friends. And I just wanted it to be like a full moment and not just one day. And I wanted everyone to have like memories from the whole trip. And I wanted people to be able to do things like my mom to be able to do something she would never do unless like we basically like uh, arranged it and did all this. So it was an eight day wedding. (laughs) <laughs> that I planned in like eight months. I would say even less. Though. Even less. Like, yeah. I mean, I've been I've been planning it since the beginning of the year, but until you have like the venue, yeah, you can't really like execute on things and the dates, <laughs> which mm-hmm. is kind of important. Um, so it was an eight day wedding, and uh, okay, I actually want to do this because so many people have like asked about it, and I didn't really get to post as much in the moment, but like I'm gonna do eight separate posts for like every single day and like what we did oh my god it's like the eight days of christmas yeah well no it's the what how many days of christmas 12 12 days of christmas yeah but it's like 12 day, like eight days of lena's wedding yeah i love this idea so i'll be standing by refreshing day, my instagram <laughs> day one we went to a winery did you drink like, Yes. Oh like, my God. And so did Noel. And no. Like, and like deep in the Tuscan Hills, like <gasps> it's some like amazing castle that was like from the 1400s. Like, did you bring back wine with you from this place? No, but you could oh. ship it back. And because I'm not like huge into wine, I just, you, you just know, didn't. I had other things to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like we all had this like amazing lunch and like this just like tons and tons of wine. And then we like, we had like a bus, like where, where everyone, uh, party bus. <laughs> It but was family style. Yeah, family style. It was just really nice to like have all my friends like meet my my siblings and yeah. like, uh Noel's family and like everyone was just like bonding and like you expect like a little bit of drama, but like it there was just like so or much awkwardness. Or awkwardness, but like literally none of that. Yeah. Like there was just like so much love and support and like just everyone like loved getting to know each other. And it was also like interesting to see like certain friends like interacting and then like friends interacting with my family and it was just like uh it was just amazing so that that was like the first day and then um we did like a cooking class with 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 pasta with pasta yeah (laughs) (laughs) oh my god and like the chef like you know and then so we like they all made the pasta together but then he like had like four separate courses for us and then he served dessert? the pasta. Yeah, there was dessert. Then he served the pasta that everyone had like made by yeah. hand. Um, I sadly was crying <gasps> during, and I thought of you guys during part of the pasta making class. I had to miss, which I was so sad by because all my fa- family was like Wait, together. What happened? So, and I don't want to talk about this too long because I fucking hate them, oh and my God. I don't want them to ruin. <gasps> right? Oh no! So. No one tells you oh. about this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Deep in Tuscany. Yeah. Especially where we were. No. Wine country. Yeah. There's a lot of moisture. Okay. What? So there was tons of mosquitoes. Are you motherfucking kidding yes. me? Oh, no. I yes. had a feeling this was going to be about bug yes. bites. I had a fucking yes. feeling. So 
I get a bug bite the first night that we get I'm there. I'm fucking riot <laughs> right now. Okay. And I'm like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I'm getting married. I have a, like a sleeveless dress. Like I can't have bug bites. And they're literally like everywhere in the house, everywhere outside. They're everywhere. And like when in I- In the hotel? Well, we had a massive villa. It was in the villa. We were staying at a vineyard, huh? The villa. <laughs> so- Was there mosquito nets around the beds? No. So that's the thing is like when you first get in, you're not really prepared for it. I had some bug spray, but I didn't know. I, I no didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. Me either. No one told me. No one told me either. It's not on Google. So I'm like, I'm trying to like tell the people there like, hey, I'm like, these bug bites are pretty bad. And they're like, yeah, that's just like the way of life here. But I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand. I am allergic. <laughs> okay. So I get, I get one here. <gasps> no. And this is during the vineyard. No. And I'm not joking. So I have one here and I have one here. And it swelled like a baseball, like this big. It was like popping out. Like anytime I showed anyone. I saw your ankles before you left. Yes. So I but, do So this believe was you. like, like I had a bicep here coming out and then here was inflamed. And the reaction on people's faces when I showed them my arm was like, <gasps> like gasps. Okay. Call the police. So I'm like trying to like be chill and hang out at this winery and like have a good time and chill, enjoy, Brad. enjoy all this stuff that I've put together. But my arm is not meant to be this big. It's my skin is not meant to be this. It felt like it needed to be amputated. That's how bad it was. And I, I honestly thought, cut my arm off. Did you get tea tree oil? Like I told you? No. Fuck. So I thought it'd be best if my arm was just gone. I think that's the best solution now. Armless bride versus, yes. versus just yeah. bug bitten. Yeah. Bride. <laughs> so that's how, I, so I come home from the winery after like kind of like containing it. And, and and then we went out like grocery shopped with my friends and like, we were just, just trying to like be chill. Yeah. You know, but I was very dying. Very hard to be chill. And the bug bite. Every, I'm showing everyone and they're like, <sighs> and my friend was like, hey, why don't you just go to the pharmacy? Like, it's Europe. You can just get any drugs here. <laughs> and it's Europe. You can be <laughs> fucked up anytime you want. <laughs> and I was like, she's like, you, it looks really bad. Like you should go in there. So I go in there. Who gave you that advice? Julia. Okay. And she was like, I go in there and the pharmacists are like, <gasps> <laughs> they're like, you need antibiotics immediately. And I'm like, I do. Yes, you're right. So, antibiotics. Yes. Yeah. So I get, they give me antibiotics and some other stuff. Four euros, by the way, no prescription, just given. Are you allowed to drink wine on antibiotics? No. And you're literally, <laughs> God damn it. And so I come home and I'm like, I just start bawling of pain. Yeah. And also like sadness that like I'm missing things because of fucking mosquitoes. Yeah. And I'm more concerned that I'm going to get a bug bite on my face. Like they're everywhere. Yeah. One on my face on my wedding. Oh, that this isn't going to go away. And yeah. I have this yeah. ball size on my arm. So anyway, I missed part of the cooking class. I take the medicine, things start to calm down. Immediately? Like, it, it took like three days. Basically like right, like the swelling went down the day of the wedding. Wow. Yeah. And did you stay out of the bug's way? Were you I, so I bought like a very intense deet, bug spray. Like 100% deet? Yes. Oh, I've and done I had, And I had Sam spray my, spun in a circle and she sprayed me like 30 times. We both were coughing. And then I was scared that I was going to throw up yep. from the bug spray. Yep. And I was like, these fucking mosquitoes won't leave me alone. I'm getting married. I'm, I can't, they can't do this to me. They can't do this to me. Did the, like, was it like 100% so, deet? So I got some more and I still have some right now. You in know. your pit? You were pointing to I your pit. I have one in my pit <laughs> and I have some on my arm still that are going away. But because I was on antibiotics for like eight days, any that I got didn't swell nearly as much as the first okay. one because it was like, and they gave me cortisone pills. Oh, pills. Pills. Because I needed it. I feel that. So that's that. All right. Those fucking fuckers. And then I, and then I told the wedding planner, I'm like, you need to get as many citronella candles as possible. You need to get as many things as possible Blast because I cannot have a swollen face. No. And people, people got bit in the face. <sighs> my fucking nightmare other people had bug bites on their forehead my sister other people <laughs> i don't want to name everyone but yes they my sister <laughs> everyone else <laughs> anyway that was day one that was day two i thought no that the cooking okay well we got in on the day and they had like we had like a little family dinner and that oh, was okay. that wasn't really a day of planning because everyone got in at like 6 p.m right so right, we had right, dinner. Right, right, right. So then day, yes, day two was the winery and whatever. And then day three was, uh, we all went truffle hunting. Oh my God. Wait. 
truffle hunting or yeah. just truffle picking? You hunt the truffle? You got to kill a truffle? No, you, you, there's no killing. But I mean, I guess you kill it when you take it out of the earth. Mm. Anyway, this is, I got to motor through this. Sorry, truffle hunting? Love yeah. truffles. There's, a, there, there's these know. amazing dogs and we, we all assigned. And <gasps> Did then, you kiss the dogs? No, they were oh. very matted. Um, but we split up in teams. Like there was a Noel team and then there Did was you a win? me team. Um, I didn't because we had a dog that it was, his name was Scott and he's Scott. <laughs> no. I like, don't know why, but I love, there was also one, of, dogs. one dog was named Bill Ma- was named Maga. That's weird. In Italy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, was that Noel's team? Who's, was that just a ro- random Rome dog that they were like, no, I think it was Noel's team. And, um, in Italian, Maga means sorceress. Yeah, they didn't, oh. they didn't really like think it was Maga. Yeah, but, but so it's like a Harry Potter thing. Maga, but also like, Scott. That's that hilarious. <laughs> so, so Scott, you travel hunted. We travel hunted, but it was high mosquito season. So my oh, mom get the fuck out. My mom was like, maybe you should sit this out. And yeah. I was like, I planned this. But I did you have your go? D? Did you have your D? So I wore a hat, a mask. Wait, a mask, like COVID mask? Yeah, COVID mask. And everyone was like, do we need to be wearing masks? I was like, no, this is for my own protection. <laughs> Two long sleeves, a vest, jeans, high socks. I was wondering I was, if it was cold when I saw that photo. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it, it was like 75, but in Italy, that feels like 85. Because humidity? Possibly. And um, so... I don't know the science behind it. I, had, I got sprayed down. I was... my. And then I had to take my mask off for photos and my mom was giving me this look like, it's been too long, put it back on, put it back on. Cause she was like terrified for me. When I tell you this, is this, okay. So we did that, it was amazing. And then the truffle hunter, his name was Julio and <laughs> he prepared a truffle lunch for us. And there was a salad and it was bread. <laughs> <laughs> The whole, you want to know what? When I was looking at your food, I was like, I wouldn't even have fucking appreciated any of this shit. I would I have been just sitting there miserable and everyone's drinking wine. I want to kill myself. He, but he had an album and he sung us songs. He had an album? Yeah. And then his wife, who he called his lover. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you call me that? I know. <laughs> he, they sang us like truffle songs. And one of one of his like songs that he would uh, I requested truffle for butter? him to sing was My Bean Soup. Wait, what? Uh, what? There were some truffle themed songs, but anyway. We did that. So cute. So cute. And then... Was the truffle in Italy just magical? What is my bean soup? I don't know. It was just a cool name. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that was a song you requested. It, it was on his album. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> he, had, he had five songs and my bean soup was one of them. Oh, I thought you were like, this is my favorite song. No. I, do you know it? No. <laughs> like, hey, Julio. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... Hmm. What Albatross. happened after... Yeah, you know, it's tough. Oh, and then after we had like our like welcome party, yeah. um, which was what we called Monaco night because we had like a full I casino. So cool. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So we had like a outdoor dinner uh, over the sunset with like pizza and like dessert pizza. Dessert pizza? Dessert pizza. <sighs> yeah. Oh God. And then we all went down to this casino. We had like all these games and slot machines and like it was like fake money and like we played poker and craps and blackjack and it was just like amazing. And like they had this little wheel with like our name on it. I and love then wheels. We had this like fake money and it had a picture of us in it. It's so cute. Um, And yeah, it was just like really fun to gamble with everyone and like have there be no like low stakes like yeah yeah, yeah. like everyone's having like, fun yeah, no yeah, one's losing yeah. thousands um hundreds <clears throat> um so then we did that um and then the next day we took a trip to florence for the Any day mosquitoes in there I feel like less mosquitoes there cities would be uh, yeah. skeeter free yeah so we went to florence for the day we did like a tour Ugh. alina we did a tour now. oh shoot I need, I need, I need time to cover this. I think people will want to Go. hear about it. I don't think I can get it done in five minutes. So, well, we're just saving the wedding to the next podcast. Well, what else am I supposed to do? I'm not going to rush through it. That's true. <laughs> Wait, what did Alex say? How much time is left? Oh my God. I must've been talking for like 45 <laughs> minutes. I was talking for 12 for 20. <laughs> Alex is trying to mind things to yeah, me, yeah. but he don't knows I can't count and I can't read. So things are getting <laughs> hard. 
<laughs> oh my god okay so this is kind of like a to be continued I, I mean i don't know what else to do okay well can can i just get like can we just talk a little bit about the wedding dress because it was a surprise to me and i begged to see it before it was fucking perfect it was so pretty oh. it was like i was just i couldn't even I, I was speechless like looking at those pictures they were so I was going to curse again, but I don't want to curse. They were so amazing. And it just like, you guys looked so good. It was overwhelming to the senses. Wow. I know. I, like, I, like uh, one of the best <laughs> wedding photos I've ever seen in my life. Wow. I know. Wow. I, I don't know like if that's a huge compliment. I haven't seen that many wedding <laughs> photos. <laughs> just don't, don't say that. But like, I was just like overwhelmed. Like it, it was the backdrop. It was the dress. Everything was so pretty. <sighs> I just was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. I was so excited to see. That. I was. I, know. I was literally texting Lena like, "If you don't fucking send me photos of you in the dress, I'm gonna kill myself," because I'm dying yeah, to, see to see the it. wedding dress. Yeah, it's like how many did you try on? Um, I tried on like eight, but like that specific designer. Yeah, Vivian. Vivian. <laughs> Vivian. Um, every single dress that I tried on of hers was like perfect like it fit my body so well it looked so good and i was between that and another one and the other one was like all tool sleeves okay and like tool overlaid on like white fabric but i always wanted like a satin silk dress so that was so like pretty. off for me but it was very pretty so i was between those two and then i was like i gotta go with like what i had always pictured which was like a very simple like elegant classic silk satin i don't know i think it's satin dress um so yeah that's that's what i did i really wanted to talk more about everything i know i blame myself no (laughs) you had amazing news yeah but still there was so much talking i feel like i was like (laughs) and i don't even know where i ended up at the end of the conversation i know i could have said anything because i have like so many calls i know my life (laughs) <laughs> maybe we should i feel like i feel very conflicted because i feel like people are gonna want to hear about it and i know if only there was some motivation for you guys to do two hours a week i know just a thought <laughs> <laughs> we also didn't even get to talk about the ghost that happened when we I got here. The ghost is least important right now. <laughs> huh? Well, we're done now. <laughs> I got to day two of the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> she got to truffle hunting. <laughs> yeah. I knew we should have started with you. Damn it. Yeah, we'll talk about it next week. Okay. If you guys are you guys are real fans, you'll you'll be here next week. <laughs> No, this is the last episode they're going to listen to. Yeah, they just cut it off (laughs) here. So nice knowing you guys. Good night. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll I'll conclude with this. So day, day, whatever, the day before the wedding, we all went to Florence, and then we um, all kind of like roamed around and did our own thing, and then we had dinner at this really, not very good restaurant, but it was a beautiful view over all of Florence. It was amazing. And then... um, we all went to sleep to prepare for the big day. And that's where I'll leave it because there are a lot of things that I need to say about the wedding day that they don't tell you. Oh, wow. A lot of this things. This is going to get me a tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be here? I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you this stuff. And I feel like someone needs to talk about it. And it's going to be me. I think the theme of our podcast is like, no one tells us anything. Yeah. And stop being mean to people. <laughs> That is very true. No one tells you to not look at the sun. And I'm sorry I didn't remember your name. (laughs) All right. Episode 29. But you know what? Episode 30, the best year of our lives. The best year of our lives. I get to talk about the wedding. Yeah. And any more more things that Sarah... Yeah, you can't talk about the wedding at 29. Yeah, it's actually a bad episode. I was actually hoping that it would be 30 that I would get to talk about that. I know. So we planned this. Yeah. We plan this. We plan everything. Yeah. Every line. All the jokes. Yeah. Every wink to camera. (laughs) The Okay, bye. (laughs)